Hey guys, welcome back to another Yu-Gi-Oh! video. And so today is going to be the first video of the new format. So if you aren't really playing on Dueling Book, you are not going to be aware, but I've been grinding already ever since the format started. And I'm currently within the top 50, if I'm not mistaken, at the time of recording this video. And so, as of right now, oh, we're just going ahead and grinding, trying to go ahead and get to the 1,000 rating as fast as possible. That way we can go ahead and just match up with skilled players all the time. And be prepared for any future events. So, here I ran into a Twitch streamer by the name of Mr. Kodak. If you have been following him, feel free to follow him. I'll leave a link down in the description below. So let's go ahead and get right into the match. So opening hand, I have Tunabiru, Meltdown, Invocation, and Foolish Burial. Not really the greatest hand. So on the contrary, we have him with a Harmadic, Petrulia, Void Vanishment, Void Imagination, and Monster Gate. So starting out, go ahead and activate Meltdown. Use months to go ahead and search the Alistair. After normal summoning Alistair, I go ahead and get the other invocation from my deck. Use Foolish Burial to go ahead and get Hedgehog because I could have sent Wendy here, but I was just more focused on getting to Construct so I can go ahead and continue. So I go ahead and Use Invocation to go ahead and get into Construct with one of the beers in hand. So I go ahead and use Wendy and Construct here. Getting the Beast on board. Getting the Schism. Link into Vertang. Get Schism to hand with Construct's effect. Use the other Invocation to go ahead and make Mechaba. Use Invocation's effect to go ahead and get Alistair back to hand. And then using the Veritic to go ahead and get into the Dragoon. So here, we end the turn. Even though we had a suboptimal hand, we have the, op the most optimal board plus one resource because we do have the beast face down normally we try to go ahead and have the verte dragoon or mechaba with the schism so it just happened to work out so here he just draws his card for turn and he decides to scoop so he does not allow me to go ahead and see what he's playing so heading into game two since i didn't know what he was playing i didn't really prepare my side properly against him i believe i only sided in some cosmics So here he goes ahead and activates Lair, pitches the Stipemus for the Harmadic, so that way he can go ahead and tribute it for Monster Gate. And here he goes ahead and gets into the Decatron, and with the Decatron he's going to go ahead and send the Stipemus. So here, then he banishes all three to go ahead and get Anuku. So here I was a little bit distracted. I'm not gonna lie. So I, so I'm not going to make up an excuse for that. And so I go ahead and start out by cosmicking the layer. He goes ahead and negates it. And since I did sign out one of the Ecclesia, I couldn't activate the Deer Servant. So I go ahead and... And this is why I said I was distracted. I was not trying to make Avcolon. Oh, and I just simply got confused. And I after I put it on the field, I was just insisting on it. But then I realized, oh, 
on my mistake. So I'm just putting that out there. I did make a mistake. It was just an honest mistake. It's, it was really late. So here, we're going to go into Construct. And so I go ahead and and go ahead and use Construct to go ahead and send Dragon. And with Wendy, I go ahead and get a Hedgehog on Field. So here he goes ahead and tributes the Construct to banish the Shadow Fusion. So here, er, following that, I go ahead and activate the Nadir, getting the Apcolon, getting back the Ecclesia, getting to Beast, sending Beast right away, so because I'm, I'm trying to go ahead and get anything on board. Forcing only draw the Invocation. So here he just goes ahead and switches both monsters into attack, activates Void Banishment, sending away the Imagination, and then goes ahead and adds a Void Feast. Sets Void Feast, attacks, activate Hedgehog, I go ahead and grab the Schism. And so after looking at my draw, I just draw another invocation and I just decided to scoop. After he... And so heading into game three. I go ahead and draw Alistair, Lancia, Dragon, Ash, and and various Black Dragon. So not the greatest hand and to start out going first, but since I do have the Lancia, it's really great that I do have that. And he has Petrulia, Prosperity, Reasoning, Evenly, and Vanishment. So here I just go ahead and use Alistair, get Invocation. Go to Artemis. Make Mechaba and just pass. So on on standby, I just go ahead and shotgun the Lancia. He activates Void Vanishment. I immediately just Ash that. He probably could have done Reasoning, but he decides to pass. And from here, I draw into the Shadow of Fusion and so from here it's pretty much game over. So I go ahead and and normal summon Alistair, get the invocation, fusion into Winda using Dragon's Effect I'm going to go ahead and pop the Vanishment Use Invocation to go ahead and banish the Petrulia. Use Invocation to get back, back to Alistair to my hand. So here, it's pretty much game over because I have the exact game. So. If anything, and I do want to thank you guys again for watching the video. Oh, please leave a like and subscribe, and go ahead and check out Mr. Kodak's Twitch. I'll leave a link in the description below. And I hope to see you guys again next time. See ya.